Hello, everybody, and welcome to Speak Up in Color with the Salatio Orphanage in Zambia, Africa. We are so excited to be back again with our team and 100 children from Zambia, Africa. And our director, Chi Chi, is, is here today to give us a little update on the kids and everyone since they have been sick for the last few weeks. And we have Auntie Deb here to help us with color. We have a story, The Color Collector. And we'll see how many colors we can collect in our story and a few other things around the studio that are going to get us started. First, we want to say hi to Florentina, who is a five-year-old little girl battling neuroblastoma cancer in the UK. And you've met Florentina over the last nine months through Speak Up events where we host story times for Florentina on Tuesdays and Thursdays as she undergoes neuroblastoma cancer treatments in the UK. And we are raising funds for Florentina to receive additional cancer treatments that are not available in her home country. And you can help us by connecting with Florentina's footsteps and speak up events to get our live story times with Florentina. And as a way to give back for while Florentina is going through her cancer journeys, Speak Up Events has partnered with the Salecho Orphanage in Zambia, Africa to teach children how to speak up in color. And you have met our beautiful family over the last month of our story times. And we're excited for us to explore more into color. And all of these reasons and all of these hearts, we've come together to help others. And that is what Speak Up Events is here for. We want to reach out and help others to see color like we do. And today we are going to explore the color collector. But before we do, Let's meet our family and say hi to Miss Chichi and Aunt Deb. Hi, Aunt Deb. How's today going so far? We have a rainy and uh, dreary day here in the east coast of the United States, but um, I'm busy watching soccer and ready to uh, have some time with the children and Chichi and get some color going. That's awesome. And Aunt Deb, you used to be a meteorologist. Is that what it was called? When I first started college, I was very interested in studying the weather. I did a lot of work during high school with one of my mentors. And um, so although I did not uh, get my degree in meteorology, I'm still very connected to the weather. So we've been getting a lot of um, thunderstorms here with beautiful lightning and uh, very um, soothing rainfalls. A little soothing. scary, the lightning, but beautiful <laughs> yeah. nonetheless. Uh, so when we say 80 and sunny, you know what it looks like and feels like to be I 80 do. and sunny. I oh, do. I love it. Well, let's check in with our fam and see how this week went. Hi, Miss Chi Chi. Oh, it looks like we might we might need to unmute you a little bit. Oh, oh, there you are. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, let's try it one more time. There we go. There we are. <laughs> can you hear me now? I can hear you. Wow, how are we? How are we? <laughs> so how has the week been, this week been at the orphanage for you and the kids? Uh, it, it's good, you know, we are coping. It's good, you know, there are always a lot of needs, especially now that it's monthened. You know, there are rain, there is electricity, there is water bills. It's always, you know, when it is just one, hey, God. But anyway, we are just grateful to God. We are believing God for great things. Actually, we are already excited because of the the story of colors. The, you know, there are 
they are always excited. We are we have learned a lot, which makes us to forget about challenges. Whenever we see challenges, we start talking about colors. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. So it has been amazing, and uh, the prayers that you did for us really work like magic. Because to be honest, that day I was even confused. And I'm not ashamed to say this, the prayers that you had for the children they lived here, you know, the, the, the meditation really did wonders because I didn't understand how they got, you know, uh, fine. It was like magic because even the doctor had, had uh, uh, decided to take them to the hospital. I was like, no, I think we should take them so that we can observe them. They can stay there at the hospital. I said, mm, 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 mm. you know, and uh, I said, let me just watch them uh you know okay just give me two days i asked the doctor to give me two days and see what will happen and your prayers really did magic the, the the prayers did magic which we are very very grateful to be honest it was like a miracle it was even now it's like magic it was like magic and we are grateful you know, no one could believe it. Even the doctor never believed it. The doctor could not believe it when he called me to say, are you bringing them over? I said, I'm not bringing them over. Why? I said, they are fine. He said, mm -mm, they can't be fine the way I, I saw them. No, no, I said, they are fine. They are perfect, okay, now. The doctor was like, you, you don't just want to bring them to the hospital. I think I'll come tomorrow. I said, even if you come, they're already fine. Then he came and they were okay. You know, I was so grateful, and also, yeah, also myself, it was like magic. The 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 the, the souls that I had on my throat, they just declared, and I had also souls on the upper, like uh, upper here, not on my tongue, up, on the you know, they also cleared, and uh, yeah, yeah, it's it was like magic. To be honest, we are very grateful. We are so grateful to your beautiful hearts, your kindness, really, uh, leached here you know you have been amazing people you have been so 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 kind you have sacrificed your time your resources Chichi, to I'm, Chichi, you're melting my heart today oh, this is the you. truth you know the truth need to be told and people need to know that there are there are still good people out there because nowadays in this generation we are everyone thinks like we they are just bad people because of so many things that are happening there is so much wickedness but to be honest there are still good people out there and your family you are one of them you are one of them which i really do appreciate you i really do i am so grateful I am grateful. Oh, Chi Chi, thank you so much for those beautiful words. And I am just honored um, completely in a puddle here that the kids are feeling better and that you are feeling better and that we can give a different hug all the way around the world if we can just put our hearts together. Oh, mm. This is pretty magical for me. Oh, yeah. Let me see where I can put the laptop now. I've started coming inside. Let's see. Hello. Hi, everybody. Hi, guys. Hi. Oh, I want to give Miss Deb, Miss Auntie Deb, a chance to say hi to everyone. Hi, everyone. How are you all today? Hi. Oh, that's wonderful. I see so many colors today. I see red and green and white. Is anybody wearing blue today? Who's wearing yes. blue? I'm wearing blue today. See? Oh, and Miss Julie is wearing all the colors, all the cool colors, purple and green and blue. Blue. Oh, now I see some blue coming in. We got There's some blue. Blue and some orange. Orange. Yes, so if you're wearing orange, raise your hand. 
Oh, I see some orange. Who's wearing red? There's red. Very good. I see some other red. Is anybody wearing pink? No pink. Oh, there's the pink. It was hiding on the bottom. Beautiful. Now, how about green? Who's wearing green today? There's green. Oh, beautiful. Lots of green today. And Miss Julie has green behind her. All the colors of green. And green is my favorite color. Anybody Is anybody else's favorite color green? Oh, some hands. Whose favorite color is blue? Blue. I see some blue. How about whose favorite color is red? Yes. And whose favorite color is yellow? Oh, Miss Julie's favorite color is yellow. Like the sun. How about orange? Whose favorite color is orange? I see a few hands. So we have the whole rainbow sitting with us today already. And now we're going to hear a story about color and rainbows and finding colors. So excited for this. We are going to learn about the color corrector. Let's see if we can give you a little bit more space. There we go. So the color collector. So as we read the story, I want us to think about, do we have a space inside our home at the orphanage where we could create a whole, we could collect some color <laughs> on? So as we read our story, think about a space that we might be able to create some color on at the orphanage. <laughs> The color correct collector. She was new. She was quiet. I think she was lonely. That was the day that I met Violet. I was new once. I so I said hello. She smiled a little, I think, but she was quiet. And we don't see any color on there, do we? Just black and white. She lived near me. We walked home the same way. I was on one side, she was on the other. Always quiet, always alone, every day the same. <laughs> then one day she picked something up. The wind blew strong. A red candy wrapper did somersaults. Violet picked it up, the bright red wrapper, and she put it in her backpack. She, Violet looked up. She looked up at me, and she waved. Then her eyes went down, and she turned the corner. Let's see if I can try and just a little bit more noise. Oh, there we go. See if we can get this just a little bit quieter. She was always picking things up. I never noticed it before. Now it's all I could see her do. Bright blue cookie wrappers, yellow pieces of paper, green bottle caps. She would collect them. Red fall leaves, 
all disappearing into her backpack. She's collecting all the colors. What is she gonna do with them in her backpack? Well, one day on their silent walk home, I am, I was not so silent. What do you do with all that stuff? All what stuff? The wrappers and the trash and the leaves. Oh, do you really want to know? Yes, please. Oh, then follow me and I'll show you. Where is she going to take him? Looks like she's taking him to her house. So when they went up the stairs to her home and he followed her inside and they went up the stairs and up another set of stairs and then just a little bit further, there was another one. The heavy door creaks open. This is my room, she says. Here in her room, the sun comes to shine. It reaches in and makes her glow. It makes her collection glow as well. What a cool room Violet has. So what do you think that she was doing with all of her trash? Well, on her wall in Violet's room, she had created a mural. Each bright colored wrapper, the, each piece of trash and speckled leaf has a place on her wall, on her ceiling and on her door. They're, they are no longer forgotten bits blowing in the wind. Along her wall, they are all one. She took every little piece of paper, every scrap of trash, every leaf of color, and she put them up on the wall. And look what she was able to create. Do you see water and the ocean? Let's see. And do we see any red flowers? And do we see green? And look over here. Look at her, look at the colors from her wrappers. They made a beach and palm trees and a house. Oh my goodness, look at all those colors. <coughs> Violet told her friend, we came here for a better life, but I, I miss my home and I miss my family. I miss the sounds and the smells. And I miss all of the colors of my old home. So I decided to create one here. So Violet tells her friends stories, stories about her life and the home that she came from. She tells her stories about the people and the ocean and how she's able to recreate the people that she loves and that she misses right there on her wall using little bits of color. So her and her, so Violet and her friend, they sat and talked and then they laughed and then they talked some more. And so she was not only sad anymore, she was not alone. And she feels good to be with her friend. And she has a friend that she can show her colors too. 
So when they went back out into the world that's almost oh, mostly black and white, they now started to see the colors that are all around them. I say goodbye. She says goodbye. I'll see you tomorrow. It is true. She smiles. I smile. We smile the same. On my way home, guess what happens? The wind blows. A bright red leaf falls at my feet. So I pick it up and I put it in my backpack. Mm -hmm. And what do you think he's going to start to do with his red leaf? Maybe he's going to build a picture too. We have so many colors to choose from. How is the color collector? Amazing. Amazing. And do you guys get, have you collected any colors around? Do you, ha there is there any colors around you that you might be able to collect this week? <laughs> so what if we had a wall? Do Miss Chi Chi, is there a space that we could create a wall of color in the orphanage with our postcards yes. and some maybe some other colors that we find? Yes, yes, we can. So this week I I have homework for you. I would like you to see what you can find in the ways of color, whether that's a leaf or a candy wrapper. Maybe it's just a package that we might be throwing away, but it has color on it that we could put on our wall and start to create a rainbow. Would that be fun? Yes. I'm excited to see what kind of rainbow you can help you can create. <laughs> well, another way to capture color, um, which has been kind of fun is dried flowers so my i had received some flowers mama kitty keeps pulling this one but they are they were dried flowers and that they were in a big bouquet but the, it was so hot over the last couple of weeks that all the flowers inside the bouquet they dried up and so now they you can crinkle them and they crinkle into little tiny pieces and they become a way for us to collect color. So Mama Kitty and I have been playing with these flowers and we were able to take all of the purple roses. So all of the purple roses that dried up, we were able to crunch them up and put them into a jar. And so now when you open this jar, it smells like roses and look what happens all of the colors can all of the roses can come out and that was another way that we were able to capture some color so we have purple roses and we have green we have these green little fuzzy bushes and these are fun because they're prickly and when you pull them apart we're going to make a mess. That's okay. When you pull them apart, they just break off into little tiny little pieces. And so now we are going to take all of these and we're going to crumple them up. All of them up. We're capturing them below on a plate. And then we're going to put them into a little jar. So we captured all of our colors today. <laughs> You want to try a different, another color? Yes. Let's see what mess we can make. We're just going to make a mess. So we have, ooh, we have this one. So this purple, and I knew the name of it earlier. 
So we've, we're going to crumple this one. We'll just put it on a plate. And we're going to crumple it right here. So we're going to collect all of these colors. And we will make a little, our own little color candle today. Okay, so we've captured our colors. We're going to put them into a jar, just like this. Or should we make a bigger mess? Should I make a bigger mess? Sure, why not? Let's just make a bigger mess. Let's do it. Let's see if we can get them to come out. There we go. We're just going to rain in some color here. Put that in our candle. And we have our, a little bit more green, so we'll add some more green into <coughs> our candle. Ooh, what else do we have? Ooh, we have some green leaves. Should we crumple wow. up some leaves? Should we crumple these ones in there? See if we can crumple oh. them up. Oh my goodness, look at them. Okay, we're making this, we are making this special potpourri potion candle at this point. Ooh, and we got one more. These ones, these ones are, oh my goodness, look at the purple flowers. Do you see the purple wow. flowers? And these purple flowers we have put into, we're starting our jar. So we already have a few in there. And we have a few more that we're going to add to it today. So we'll add some, ooh, these ones have a little bit of yellow in the inside. We have a little bit of yellow. Oh my goodness, we are making a mess. Oh, perfect. So I'm really excited because I now am covered in flowers and I am full of purple and greens and blues and now they are all over my lap and in my hair. I'm just going to shake them out. Wow. 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 This is like one cheese. Uh. Well, thank you for letting me uh, make some potpourri, some flowers, and collect some flowers with you. Do you guys have any questions or anything that I can help? Oh, look, we have color. Have we collected yeah. some color? What do yeah. we have? Let's see. We have some wrappers we're going to put on the wall. What else do we got there? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Miss Deb, this is gonna be a really cool wall. I have oh some goodness. pretty colors to show you. Wow. Wow. So, so these are flowers that my daughter dried and put into a picture mm. and she made a heart wow. here, of from flowers that somebody who she loves sent to her sent her all these flowers and she put them purples yeah. and pinks and red and yellow and green into this beautiful heart Oh, that's a and great you can idea. do this too with all the things that you find. Oh my gosh, that's a really good idea. I could actually wow. probably do that with all the flowers that we have all you over my indeed. lap right now. Indeed. Oh, I'm loving this. And our color this week, can anyone guess what our color might be? Anyone who can guess? Anyone can guess what color might be this week? Green. Ah, 
Good job. I don't know how you guessed that. Our color this week is green. And wow. I placed every color shade of green that's available um, right behind me. Let's see if we can. So we have all of our shades of green behind me. And what do we want to learn about green? What, what, what some questions should we ask green to learn about it? <laughs> what does should green we find mean? Out what does green mean? Let's find out what green means this week. Okay, what other questions can we ask green? Any other question? What does pink mean? Green. Green. What does pink mean? Okay. <laughs> what does green mean? What does green do? What does green like to do? Uh, what do you think green eats? What do you think green likes to eat? Mm. You should say it louder. Nutrients and minerals. Say, can you say that one more time? Minerals and nutrients. You can say, yeah. say it louder. Can you stand up and say it louder? Fast again. <laughs> nutrients and minerals. <laughs> Chichi, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. I couldn't hear that. Could you repeat that for me? We want to learn about green, about what they eat. She, he's saying uh, minerals and nutrients. Ooh, and minerals yeah. and nutrients. That's a great question for green. And then where does green show up in our world? Where do you see green in your world? Where do you see green in your world? Trees, forests. The trees, the forest. Can you say it in our surroundings. In your surroundings. That's yes. great. Mm -hmm. And do you know that green in our inside our inside us, in our chakras and our colors, green is in our heart. So our heart space. When we think about our heart, it's green. The area around our heart is all green with love. Wow. And Miss Deb, do we have any motto, do we have any um, sayings or anything that we would like to have the kids focus on this week? So there are uh, lots of meanings for green. Uh, we have uh, safety, we have uh, balance, and we have hope. And so when we think of green, we can think of the new home that's going to be coming your way, that's going to provide you with safety and to always be hopeful. And when you think of that green in your heart space, that hope is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. Oh, I love it. And I love that green is hope. Because it, for me, it was at the beginning, it was hold on, pain ends was hope for me. But then it changed to help one person every day. And that from, completely changed it. Green is hope. I love that. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us for our, your story time this week. We are going to be sending you some videos about green throughout the week so you can get caught up and we'll answer some of the questions. And you should start to be receiving all of the postcards, um, should start to be trickling into the orphanage in the next week or so. So I'm excited for you to receive some love from all over the world as we wrap you in a hug. Uh, thank you guys so much. You're welcome. And Have a great day. A few days ago was calling you. If you found a mystical, it was Catherine, actually. She wanted to find out when you were sending the card. So I just found, uh, you know, like when I touched my phone, I saw that someone was calling you and Deborah and Julie. Yeah, but then I asked her and said, yeah, I wanted to find out about, about the colors when they are sending over the car. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> oh, I love that. Catherine, you can call me anytime. I'm so sorry I missed your call. Yes, they should be arriving. Um, I, gosh, it's been almost a month, so they should be starting to trickle in on the daily here soon. <laughs> yeah, so uh, actually, I got shocked, like, because normally I don't call. So I was like, oh, how did you? Yeah. Well, I think it was me calling. Or, like, I wanted to ask about the colors when they are coming. <laughs> They're on oh, their way. I they are on their way and we also anyone in the entire world everyone can join in on our postcards to zambia um and the address is listed in the comments so please join us in sending a postcard and ask questions of our of our team and our family and they'll be able to answer your postcard questions right here on our story time I have my doggy is coming to. Oh. Here he is. Everybody want to see my doggy? Let's say hi to Blake. Yes. Hi, everybody. Oh, oh so cute. So cute. So cute. Mm -hmm. Even Esther loves it. <laughs> They're asking for the name. <laughs> His name is Blake. Wow, what a nice name. She's saying, what a nice name. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> and I will show you our Miss Mama Kitty. She's asleep right now, but we'll see if we can see her. Um, wow. Wow. Yes. She is on the bed here with me for our story time and she is sleeping. So now you got to meet our pets. Uh, hi, Blake. Blake is such a sweetheart. I just want to cuddle him. Oh. Good night, guys. Bye, We're sending everybody. you love. Bye, everybody. Say bye, everybody. They only make noise when it's bye bye. <laughs> when they push, <laughs> they are so funny. And to be honest, what they do is after the meeting, they start discussing. When they are, I think one day I'll be doing a video while in their room while they are discussing. I, sometimes I'll, I'll be like peeping in there, I'll go like on the door, like, and I'll, I'll hear them, they'll be discussing about this, they'll be discussing about this, they'll be, <laughs> I'll be like, wow, it's oh. such amazing. But when you are there, they'll pretend like they'll be so quiet. But the moment they'll start, hey, did you hear about that? They say this, they said A, B, C, D about the colors, they said A, B, C, D. It becomes so funny. It becomes so funny. Thank you so much for bringing, oh. you know, uh, a happiness in their lives, for bringing joy, you know. I can just see the joy. I can just see the, you know, the happiness and the peace. They, are, they, they, they just get excited because they normally ask me to say, we are late, like today. We are late for our story time. We are so, ah. I know. <laughs> we'll catch it. We'll, we'll be there. Don't worry. Like, are we having a meeting today? I'm like, mm -mm, you know, and they say, the, like, these ones who are doing grade seven who are preparing for exam, they say, this is good for us. You know, it's mm -hmm. on that there are some that are just, I, I, I don't know how, I, I don't know other better way apart from Dow. Those, like, you know, like maybe no one has been to school in their family, like maybe the mother before they died or the father, no one, no one has ever gone to school are the one that I normally find it difficult with them because they don't even like it like you push them to go to school you are just pushing them but some of them they are so committed you could i could see like these ones are committed these ones they don't want to miss anything but they are the team oh my god <laughs> they are so naughty but understand because you know education was not common in zambia uh, it was not common because of uh, uh, the, you know, we were paying before now. Now, from grade one to somewhere there in government schools, a new president that we we elected uh, 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 last year. 
said we should not pay you know so we are not paying for these yeah we are not paying for the younger ones now we only buy books paints uniforms so other farm the, the, the people couldn't afford to go to school so it became yeah it, it became naturally for them not to like school they just you know like I don't want to go to school. Uh, my mother called me a few days ago. There is a child that my mother took from the village. She refused to go to school. And she's seven years. She said, me, I don't want school. I don't want. Mom started weeping, said, I don't want. I'll never go to school. You know, it's because of the, the mentality, you know. So this is something which is interesting and which I am pushing for them to reign. I am pushing for them to, but I want them to become the best. I want them to be educated more. Me, I didn't have that opportunity because we are paying, you know, I couldn't afford it. But now then they have the opportunity. We are there, all of us, we are there to help them and to make sure that their dream come true. So I am so excited to be honest. At times, I don't even know how to appreciate you, but I believe that you're gonna come to Zambia and I'll have your gifts here. You are coming soon. You we are. are. Yes. We are planning it. Is we're gonna make this happen. Yes. yes. The heavens and, are with us. Mm -hmm. And guess what? You don't need even you don't need a lot of money to come to Zambia. Our government partnered with your countries which your visa is a, is cheap your visa it's only 25 us dollars if you're from yeah if you're from america uk your visa it's only 25 us dollars yeah. then your air ticket now when i was checking a few days ago it was it was 700 us dollars retain ticket retain ticket so you can come at yeah. any time you we can are gonna come. get there yes first you have to get all the shots chi chi yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have to. So I'm super excited. Thank you so much. And uh, thank you so much to our viewers. And and how is our little princess? Uh, Miss Flo. Love yeah, she princess. will she will be starting a new round of treatment on Monday on 8-8. Eight eight. Wow. So we are sending her distance healing and a lot of love. Um, before she starts her next round of treatments and it will be very specialized um, her her cancer has relapsed and so this next treatment is going to really hone in on what needs to be focused on so we can get her back onto that trial in new york but thank you for asking amazing yeah thank your love you. <laughs> thank you your love I'm me really so much. For her. We are really Thanks. praying for her also. We are praying for her and thank you so much for so <laughs> yeah, so thank you so much. Thank you so much and thank you for all your support. Thank you for Absolutely. buying us that. So thank you so much for you know sacrificing your own resources, your own time. No one can do this, to be honest. No one can do this which really humbles me, which really touches my heart. At times, really, even I, I just like, mm -mm, you are too great. You, uh, please, can you behave? We are making noise. <laughs> That's what they do. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. Don't yeah, apologize so. for them being <laughs> themselves. And Chi Chi, we would... Yeah, and Chichi, we would like to partner with you as well um, to do a clubhouse room for with you and the kids um, that we could do something throughout the week that we could just all get on um, clubhouse and we could do conversations with Catherine and Esther and have some some conversations with you and the kids, which would be great. Um, and I know what that's easier be? for you. Yeah, yeah, actually it is. And actually, oh, what we can do is when we connect on our live, we can also be on Clubhouse at the same time about colors and can ask them questions and they can respond to colors, even at times how they're living, anything, any question that you feel like you can ask them, you know, you can, they're also your children. They are not, so you, you are free to do anything with them. You are free. Yeah, I would love to have some one on one time with the kids. I think that would be great, Deb. Like up close and yeah. personal. Yeah. 
Well, we have yeah, our actually, council of crows. Is our we have four crows that are flying in at the moment, so they are going to start squawking here in a bit. But thank you guys so much for today. Um, I will touch base with you in just a little bit, and we will get that um, scheduled for Clubhouse. No problem. Thank you so much. Bye for now. Thanks, Tuesday. <laughs> love you. I'm saying love. Thank you guys so much for joining us for our Speak Up um, in Color, all the way live from Zambia, Africa, where we get to teach 100 children how to see and speak in color. And I'm very excited to expand and where this is going to go. And you saw the children today and our director, Chi Chi, and how far these children have come. So many are planning and studying for exams that are coming up so they can move on and move on to universities and expand their own education. And Speak Up Events is partnering with the Slecho Orphanage to build out the learning center, school, and computer lab on their new property. So the land has been purchased and now we are making the preparations to build out the home for the children and all the available buildings learning centers, and everything that comes with it. And you can join the cause by jumping on the Cash app below and connecting with Chi Chi and donating to her cause. And you can also join us by sending postcards to Zambia. And the link and address for your postcards are in the, in the comments below. Uh, reach out to Speak Up Events, myself, um, Aunt Deb, and, and also Chi Chi, and we are here to con connect you direct you and support you in all things color. Have a great day, everybody.